Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I have released the RC build of iOS 26 that I have here on my 16 Pro Max to show you all the new changes. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the update size and the build number as usual. Here on the 16 Pro Max it's 8.39 GB and keep in mind that this update took a very long time to install on the 16 Pro Max. And when it comes to the build number, it's 23A340. And now let's take a look at the new features. Now let's talk about the new changes in the home screen. When you go to edit and then customize and then tented, you will see two new buttons added to the list. The first one will automatically synchronize the color of your icons to match your case color. So for example, if you have one of the Apple's official cases, that has the NFC feature, the phone automatically detects the color of the case and when it happens while having this option activated, the icons will automatically change to match the color of your case which is a really smart and nice feature and the other option will sync the colors to your phone's color. As you see here, I'm using this titanium color and with any wallpaper when I choose this option, it will always pick this color for me which is my phone's color but if you want the wallpaper colors, you can choose the third option. Moving to the health app, we got two new changes. The first one is the new sleep score feature. If you saw Apple's event today, they talked about a new feature called sleep score, which currently has a widget for your home screen, and it only has one size. And here's how it looks when you add it to the home screen. And when you tap on it, it will take you to the brand new page under the health app that will show you everything you need to know about this feature but currently I don't have any data to show you. But when you tap on the graph you can learn more about the feature. It says here about sleep score and giving you detailed information about how it works. Another change in the health app is the new hypertension feature Apple also talked about in the event. As you see here when you search for it it will show you the feature and also you can activate the hypertension notifications. Here you have show all data. We have data sources and then the about and some more information about the summary or unpin the summary if you want. And when you tap on learn more, it will tell you everything you need to know. In the fitness app, we also got a brand new feature. When you take a look at the bottom, you will see a new tab called the workout. And when you open it for the first time, you get this new splash screen. It says here, set up and mirror your workouts, workout body, music and media. And when you tap on continue, it will allow you to turn on the use workout body feature. And you have three different voices to choose from. As you see here, it's currently downloading. So I will wait for it to download and then show you a quick sample. Now let's check how each one sounds. Way to get your workout started. Way to get your workout started. Way to get your workout started. Once you choose your favorite voice and tap on OK, it will show you the workout tab. As you see, it has some activities like outdoor walk, outdoor run, outdoor cycle, hiking, and you can add even more if you want, but I think all the options are already added. And as you see here, content is unavailable. You need to subscribe for the Fitness Plus subscription. Moving to the watch app, now you should see the new watch faces of the Apple Watch 11 and Ultra 3 in your gallery under the face gallery option. When you open this banner, you will see all the new watch faces we've seen in Apple's event today. So that's it when it comes to the new features. But before jumping to the next chapter, if you like any of the wallpapers you see in this video, they are now available for download on my Patreon page. You will find the download link in the description and here is the full collection if you are interested. And now let's get back to iOS 26. Now let's talk about my experience with this build while filming the video and I came across one major issue while customizing my home screen. Suddenly all my icons disappeared and I took a screenshot to show you what happened. After switching between clear icons and tinted icons, my icons completely gone and I had to restart the phone to get them back. And that was a very annoying bug. But other than this, I didn't come across any major issues. But the phone is still getting warm. Maybe it needs some time to optimize. But 
So far, I didn't see any major improvements in the performance. And when I go to Geekbench, let me show you the score I got. I got 8,726 and 3,488 which is slightly better than beta 9. And now let's talk about the official release of iOS 26. As per Apple's website, it should be available on the 15th of September. And we're not sure yet if Apple will release another RC build before the official release or not. So let's wait and see. And lastly, taking a look at the release notes of the iOS 26 RC build, you will see tons of new fixes over here under more than 50 different categories. It's a huge list and I couldn't see any new features in the release notes outside the ones I already mentioned. I'm going to leave its link in the description if you want to check them yourself. And I think that's pretty much it for today. That's everything you need to know about iOS 26 RC. Please let me know if I missed anything in the comments. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.